Hey guys, Triple B here. We're getting some very exciting news coming off the end of the Pokemon TCG World Championships over in Hawaii. Being the next two locations it's going to be held at, the release date of Pokemon Pocket, and most excitingly, if you keep up with the TCG, the next mechanic coming to the game being Owner Pokemon. There, It's a returning mechanic though. So we used to have like Gym Leader Pokemon way back in the day, as well as Team Rocket Pokemon, and they're bringing it back. So we're getting a handful of new ones, cards associated with Lily, Marnie, and even N. Well, at least that's so far what's revealed. I'm sure there's a handful of other ones coming. And what gym leader or character from the game are you hoping gets Pokemon released into the, well, the TCG? The first ones though we're seeing are Lily's Clefairy EX. It has the ability Fairy Zone. The weakness of each of your opponent's dragon Pokemon in play is now going to be Psychic. It's kind of like a return to Fairy type since they've well, retired them from the game. They're just making it so like, ah, psychic Pokemon are them, but with the nobility in play. So now things like Raging Bolt EX that doesn't have a weakness, all of a sudden they're, they're weak to uh, psychic. So like Gardevoir decks could be running this, get it out with a Nest Ball, hit some scary numbers into them, or even just start attacking them with Clefairy EX. Since it's attack Full Moon Rondo, it's gonna do a base damage of 20 and then 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon in play. So if you have a full bench, your opponent has a full bench, gets you up to 220. Similar to like Entei V, Suicune, and Raikou, which all have Rondo attacks as well, but now we're getting it on a Psychic one that's not a Johto Beast, so yeah, you can hit some decent numbers, especially if you're hitting weakness into Dragon Pokemon. And with the reveal of the Area Zero Stadium, you're going to be able to scale this up even further, since just put a Terra Pokemon in play, you can have eight things on your bench, your opponent can have eight things on their bench, and then you're getting up to what, 160, 320, 340 with, yeah, maxed out benches on a basic Pokemon for two energy? That's a little bit nuts. I feel like the Terra Pokemon you'd want to be playing this with is obviously Terra Pegos EX that scales up damage based on your bench as well, so it just gives you another attacking option for you to play around with. The next owner Pokemon we're seeing is Marnie's Grimmsnarl EX, whose ability lets you search your deck for five basic dark energy and attach them to your Marnie's Pokemon in play when you evolve up into this. You shuffle your deck afterwards though. So it's going to be interesting to see what other Marnie Pokemon we get to combine this with. Obviously we're getting the pre-evolution since you need to evolve from Marnie's Morgrim. You can't just evolve from regular Morgrims, so uh, yeah, something to keep in mind. Also, be mindful that this does mean you could run multiple Grim Snarls in your deck if you really wanted to, like four regular Grim Snarls, four Grim Snarl EX if we ever get just a Grim Snarl EX, and well, four copies of Marnie's Grim Snarl EX since they do have different names. The same would apply for the Clefairy. But so far, we just have these ones. I'm gonna guess we're gonna get a more Peko at some point, and I'm not too familiar with Marnie's team. What other Pokemon do you think that she'll get in the game? The attack on here though, doing some decent numbers. You're doing 180 as a flat damage, and then 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you're half hitting into things and setting up chip damage into guys that are on the bench, or potentially taking out small targets in pre-evolutions over two attacks. The other cards we're getting are Ends Reshiram, and uh, yeah, it's got a very familiar attack on here. Powerful Rage is gonna do a multiplier for 20, based on the amount of damage counters on this Pokemon. We used to have a Reshiram in the black and white era that had effectively the same attack. I think it was just called Rage, I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, so you can get up to some decent damage. You can have Bravery Charm on here, bringing it up to 180 HP. If you get up to 170 damage, double that, you're doing 340, you're taking out anything in the format for just a Fire and Lightning energy. The second attack on here being two Fire, a Lightning, and a Colorless to hit 170 flat damage, also not too bad. But I think that we're gonna be using that attack on something else. Since Enz Zoroark has the attack at Night Joker, you get to choose one of your bench ends Pokemon and just use its attack as this attack. So you can be copying Powerful Rage for Night Joker, getting up to 270 damage onto your Zoroark since it has 280 HP, and then you're hitting, what, 540 for two energy? It's nuts. Getting up to that uh, amount of damage, You'll, you'll have to figure out a way to get there, but I feel like you'll find some ways to tank some hits. Likely won't be hitting that 500 plus damage at any point, but even just having like 140 on here, being able to do 280 isn't too bad, especially since you're a dark type, you can charge it up with Dark Patch, you can use the new Janine's card that attaches a dark energy from deck and then attach for turn, and you'll be in a really good position. The ability on here also is gonna feel very familiar to Zoroark players. If you tried Zoroark GX back in the day, as it's literally the same thing, it has trade again. You discard a card from your hand and draw two cards. Yeah, they, they straight up just brought Zoroark GX back with a different attack, so... Yeah, I know there's gonna be a lot of people very excited to play that. 
that's it for the reveals of the owner Pokemon so far. We are getting a bit of a hint towards what the next ones are though. There's a Mabastiff and Arvin shown in a the picture. There's a Psyduck, which is likely going to be paired up with Misty, and even a Pichu with your protagonist from Gold and Silver. So, uh... Yeah, keen to see what he's gonna get. If you played Soul or Soul Silver and Heart Gold, I don't know if the original games had it, but yeah, at the end of that game, you went up to Mount Silver, you battled Red. I feel like we're gonna get some Red cards as well. It'd be a little weird if we got like Gold, but we didn't get Red. So yeah, I'm keen for that. But what characters are you hoping get the uh, the owner treatment in the TCG? They did also give a little bit of a hint at the Team Rocket set coming up and showing a bit of Mewtwo. So yeah, Mewtwo's. Well, Rocket's Mewtwo is going to be coming back to the TCG, so very keen for that. And they also revealed the next two locations for the World Championships, being in Anaheim and San Francisco. So America's getting two more years of having Worlds. They just had Hawaii and two more years of it. It'd be nice to see it kind of get bounced around the planet a little bit, like Japan had it, maybe go back to Japan because the game's from there, or head over to Europe. It's been a while since we've gone there, or, you know, Australia. We, we have no CIC, so give us OCIC back or let us have a chance at Worlds? That'd be, you know, cool. Pokemon, if you're watching this, just, you know, just, just a little bit of a hint. So I know I don't have an accent, but I am based in Koala Country. <laughs> we also got the release date of Pokemon Pocket. It's going to be coming out on October 30th. So just in time for Halloween, you get a day to play this, then go dress up, eat a bunch of candy, and then the day after play some more Pokemon Pocket. I know I'm definitely keen to try the game out. It seems like a much faster format with kind of like simplified cards. So it'd be great for collectors to try actually getting into the game while getting to scratch that itch of opening packs of cards that are exclusive to the game. You can pre-register over on the App Store and Google Play. We also got a couple more cards revealed for it. So we're getting an Eevee that's going to be in Pokemon Pocket. Colorless Energy, do 20 damage, as well as a Mewtwo that's going to be coming out in it, doing 50 damage and 150 for multiple energy. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of energy acceleration they do add to the game, because yeah, four energy for attack, if you're just going to be manually charging up, is quite a bit. It's an EX Pokemon though, so you have a decent bit of health, you'll be able to tank some hits while you get charged up, especially if things are just doing like 20 damage for one energy. It'll be, uh, I feel like, a bit of a back and forth game. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Pokemon Pocket? Are you keen for when it comes out? Or are you just like, nah, I already have PTCGL, like I'm, I'm good. It's like, I'm definitely keen to try something different, but I'm not too sure how it's gonna go. Cause like finding time to play PTCGL is already a little bit tricky with life. And then trying find to or finding time for Pokemon Pocket in there as well, might be tough. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in it in the comments below. But that's pretty much it for the reveals. We did cover some cards that got announced for Paradise Dragona yesterday, so that video should be popping up on the screen now if you want to take a peek at them. And this is another video that YouTube thinks you'll like. But till next time, stay golden, you Goombas.